Hello students, I am live now uh, in order to have a chat with you. So, uh, well, put your questions in the uh, chat box one by one and I shall be answering your questions. But I must start with one thing and that is the time in which we are living. These times may be called Corona times or may be called free times or may be called the times when we are bound to stay at home and not to move outside. So educational institutions have special role to play there because maximum number of people visit these institutions. Now, while staying at home, we have the problems like feeling lonely, isolation and whatnot. Uh, the answer to these things is to create your own world. Your world where you do the things which you like to do. I mean the possibilities must be explored and if you are able to explore the possibilities definitely you will like to do this in a very loving way so that is why first of all you should do this type of stuff to find out what is good for you what you like to do what is the thing you can do here so with these words let us have a start with any of the questions that you have put I can see in the chat box that we have Sidra Uma, Nana and Sana and uh, Ansar Nawaz, Walid, Mujahid, Rubab, Fatima and Sadaf and Muhammad, Etisham al Haq. All present. Just raise a question so that we can have a start with the discussion. Uh, you can raise the literary questions as well as non-literary questions. Uh, you can also ask some of the socio-political but you know I am uh, just a doctor possibly I may not be uh, able to answer every question, but as, as still I would like to uh, create any type of answer. So type the answer until the time I take the call and talk to the people later on. Hanji, Aslam. I may online lecture. Tell me. Okay, then we can talk about this later. Okay, bye bye. So students, I'm not seeing any questions which you uh, were asking to raise or which you people wanted to ask me. I'm not uh, finding any questions. Yes, non-literary question, Huma. Uh, I mean, the questions which possibly you can ask about your well-being and your mood, styles or anything you can ask. You. So that is why it's not impossible to ask any other questions as well. So uh, how can I start with, I don't know what you people want me to do. Uh, and this is going to be a non-traditional session where only questions can be answered. And this is the session where no text is going to be taught to you people uh, because the information came to me that you people don't want uh, the text to be taught to you people. So that is why uh, I, I thought to keep it just for question and answering. So ask the questions people yes ask the questions any of the questions till the time you ask me the question <laughs> how can i start with anything uh, to say anything to you people by the way uh, till the time you are putting me the question i may say that i'm uh, spending my life in a very positive way writing down certain things and after that uh, you know, doing, watching videos and recording my own videos, playing the role very much in the way as it should have been played by any teacher. And besides that, I'm dealing with the government responsibilities as well, uh, answering the queries, sending the emails, and doing great things for my college as well, because these days I'm the principal of my college. So life has never become inactive. Uh, it's like uh, getting up early in the morning, reciting the Holy Quran, and then going for the home chores. I enjoy cooking as well and doing a lot and uh, cook the things which I love to. And uh, same is the case with the news. I, I watch less news on coronavirus. I watch more news on other things and that makes me happy, pretty happy rather. So uh, that is the routine I go through. Uh, by the way, cook many things which I like and sometimes ridiculous things I make which possibly you people won't like at all. So these uh, are the ways of spending my life. Yes, I get a lot of sleep at night and uh, that's uh, very easy to do so uh, right now because a few days ago my air conditioner became bad and it was not possible for me to have air conditioning. 
but now after having an expenditure of 7000 is once again working and raising horrible voices sometime as well uh, but still it's working so that's nice to spend night in cold condition yes let me see your questions if any are you have raised there yeah here is suma freed's comment and possibly one question let me read the question first and after that we shall talk about it. sir your teaching method is very good uh, we are also teachers and want to know how we develop our teaching methods like you well that's the question put by huma first of all so let me talk to you about uh, this question uh, i i could understand the main focus of the question by huma is to become a good teacher not of course like me because i'm not that good and most of the time maybe i'm a very bad teacher because uh, in the eye of the student only that teacher is good which doesn't give any assignment which doesn't ask any question which uh, doesn't ask them to write anything so that person may be good but i am the one who will be always putting questions to the student raising bringing them out of their boxes out of their restricted words letting them an opportunity that they should speak up although you speak a lot uh, on not so wanted things you, you you need to speak on the things which are good for you i mean the class the topic the chapter the lesson so the very first thing to become a good teacher like me is to become student oriented ask them the questions help them in answering let them talk let them know the things let them discuss the things because teacher knows already these things he doesn't need to revise his lessons it is the student who has to come up one thing and secondly you must be tech savvy i mean you must learn certain teaching tools like uh, making of ppts making of videos making of audios not so professional indeed it may be just the type of videos you can make it's not necessary that should be very idealistic no we are not making a movie we are we are not going to send this movie to the cinema we we people are there who would definitely try to understand what the meaning of the things is going to be so that is why uh, most of the time whatever the video you can make whatever the audio you can make whatever the pictures you can put in your uh, ppt programs that will be good because it enhances the interest of the student because it lends the double edge to the lecture not only speaking of professor is lecture but also the kind of aids the audio visual aids are the lectures and no one fortunately the world has come to the point where it has to use google zoom google meet and then youtube live etc etc so the good teacher needs to become tech savvy as well he should have gadgets with him he should be able to use these gadgets for the benefit of the students yes a good teacher should read a lot and then he should write a lot if you do these things definitely you can become a teacher even you can become better than i am because i am just an old man good for nothing fellow other than teaching and uh, reading or giving these lectures you people are young having rich minds having a lot of money having a lot of good friends around you and so you can become better than me i hope huma is satisfied with this answer so huma if you are satisfied say something about that and well let's take some other question but i'm not finding any other question yes it is walid who has come thank you walid for putting the question it says sir i have a question how uh, dress how dresses represent the uh, nation's culture all right that's good so dress and nationalism hmm that's right that's right uh, well um uh, huma i will come you question later on but first i need to answer valid's question in fact in our society and in the societies of the world we have set certain parameters in order to you know let have a type of recognition who we are for example the dress is the immediate marker of recognition who we are so valid when you are wearing a purely pakistani dress anybody who looks at you will say yes it is pakistani or if you are wearing some other dress so anybody can say that the person belongs to this or that but now in today's world it has become really very difficult because the american style of dressing jeans t-shirt it has become world over popular so it's not possible to you know avoid these kind of changes of the world so while living in this type of situation we need to have the dress marker for example a woman or a girl in america when she wears an american dress she may be bearing a lot of skin but in pakistan if a girl wears t-shirt and jeans she may not be bearing uh, that type of skin 
that quantity of skin. So in that way, again, the subiridity comes in the dress when you are having a subiridity in your culture. When, you, when the girl wants to hide her skin. When a boy doesn't want to show off her muscles. So if this thing is happening, again, we can say that the dress code represents such a person, such a type of nationality, which, which takes care of the dressing code. And then comes the next part. I think instead of saying that we should wear the national dress to represent our culture, that's a very good idea. One should do that. But in a globalized world, in a world where boundaries have become blurred, in a world where these things like dress, like color, these things have changed the scenario, one must be decently dressed. One must be dressed not provocatively. One must be decently dressed that you can present yourself anywhere. For example, a very simple, very small definition of the decent dressing is that a dress in which you can talk to your wife also, a dress in which you can talk to your students as well, you can talk to your kids as well, or you can talk to your boss as well. If the dress allows you to talk these things in all these situations, that dressing is good. And if the dress asks you again and again to go back to your room and change the dress uh, coming before coming to your kids or before coming to your wife or become coming to your friend then definitely it's not going to be that decent so therefore these things may be observed otherwise it's really very difficult to maintain your identity uh, but some are the people who would stress on that so yes uh, politicians leaders important people uh, these people especially should be having the national dress like our uh, current leader pm imran khan uh, by the way i'm not a pta member of, at all i'm uh, just talking about giving an example that he wears the national dress when he goes outside it's very good it is to represent us, but uh, when you are a student, when you are attending a class, it's not that necessary to remain all the time dressed in national dress. So this is the way how the dressing can represent our culture as well. I think uh, Walid has got the answer, so Walid comment if you got the answer. Now once again, coming back to Huma Freed's question, she has added a tag question by saying, what we uh, read a lot, what type of literature? Uh, question is quite unclear, but what I could understand is that the type of literature. I mean, literature has got two jobs most of the time to do. One is to instruct and other is to delight. If a literature is performing these two functions simultaneously, I mean, it is instructing you as well, it is, it is uh, giving you entertainment as well, it's very good. I would say any story in which, uh, in which you find or identify yourself, that's a good thing. So reading of literature, maybe sometimes fictional, sometimes non-fictional, all these things should go hand, hand in hand. Uh, so in that way, I think Huma is satisfied. So Sadaf Elias has put a question and uh, so let me read the question first and after that I try to answer that question. Sadaf says, Sir, how we compare the language of a pair of genes different from the... <laughs> this is very, you know, very tricky question. Very clever, Sadaf because that is the topic you know and you want to know from me and it's very easy it's very easy like when you read a pair of genes language of a londoner is used there language of a person who lives in london right and when you read zoo language of a pakistani is used there so in in, uh, in in zoo you can find number of expressions number of styles of sentences even the wording, very much Pakistani. And so it will be easier as well, comprehensible, easily understandable. Uh, but in case of a pair of genes, uh, you won't be able to find this type of language. Uh, some Urdu words maybe, you may be tracing some Urdu words, how many Urdu words are present in a pair of genes and how many in zoo uh, that you can find out. And same would be the case with the uses of certain expressions which are particular to Pakistan whether these are used or not, in that way you can find out a lot of uh, differences. Uh, Sometimes you can see the person who lives abroad has got longer sentences, complex sentences, and the person who lives in Pakistan may not be using that complex sentences. And uh, yes, uh, other differences can also be traced out. So three, four, five differences if you write about the language of these things, it would be quite easier. Uh, in fact, you should keep in mind that post-colonial literatures or uh, the literatures which are being produced in English in the countries which were formerly colonized by any colonizers, say British or America, uh, these people cannot write English in that way as a person residing in 
the metropolises like London, New York can write. So the difference definitely will be there. So in that way, you can find out the differences of language in both of these short stories. I hope Sadaf's question is satisfied. Uh, Sadaf, if question is not satisfied and you want it more, you should write in the comment section in the in the chat box. So any more questions, people? Your questions are not coming up. Come up, uh, otherwise we cannot continue this stream. It can go on only at that time till you ask the question. Where is Sidra? Sidra should ask the question. And uh, where is Farhanda, Farhana? Yes, Maria, I'm expecting one question from Maria Zabair. Each you people should answer, ask the question. Right? All the questions have finished. Come on, I'm waiting for the question. Right? You know, it's very good to spend time with you people in that way. Yes, it's right that all the time we should not be studying, all the time we should not be reading text, and sometimes we should have only simple discussions. I was planning, if you people agree, I was planning one thing, that sometime when we are when we have read sufficiently one text, we should discuss some research paper also uh, on the same text, so that our horizons may be widened and we may be able to, you know, get the stuff which is being said by the people abroad and in the research journals or any other places. Uh, so in that way, one can have a better idea of the text uh, or one can find out what the researchers are saying. So this is what the thing is being done by us here. So I'm waiting for the next question. Neither Maria Zubair is raising the question nor uh, Sidra is raising the question. I think after putting themselves their, their own and uh, attending, saying yes sir, they have disappeared. They are busy in cooking food and eating as well. And, and so no question is coming up. Uh, so any other boys? I think Itisham is there. Uh, Itisham should ask the question. Itisham is a very good boy. He can put certain questions. So I'm waiting for your questions. Well, students, if no question is coming up, we can call it off. The stream should end. So you wait for one minute more if your question comes up. Don't be afraid, these questions are read by me only. Nobody else is reading these questions. And uh, yes, the answers would be listened by the whole world because we are live. It can be listened. Yes, anybody asking the question? Uh, Rabia is there. Rabia is to ask the question. Please go ahead with the question, Rabia. If you have any. And then I'm waiting for the question of Maria's bear. I'm waiting for the question. Question about anything, Rabia? Anything. Anything you can ask. Today's lecture is a question answer session. It's not the teaching text session or uh, it's not the discussion on the authors. It's uh, simply the questions which the students want to put to me. And uh, so uh, I'm asking to ask the question. Uma Fareed, sir, please tell us about your childhood uh, experiences, job experiences. Well, uh, uh, my childhood has been a very beautiful childhood. And uh, there are three, four things which I would mention in order to say why it was beautiful. Number one, that uh, I lived at a number of places in my childhood. Uh, I, I lived at least at four different places. Uh, in order to, uh, in order to, uh, you know, four different places and the four different places represented different cultures, different languages. And so in that way I learned a lot when I was a child. And same was the case that I had the opportunity to explore the things like, uh, you know, uh, in our home there used to be no car when I was a child of just four years of age. But when I became five years of age, we had a car. So I had a chance to, you know, explore what the car is and how does it drive and what is petrol and other things like that. And similarly, I had a very excellent type of teachers. You know, in speech making always I stood first in my childhood, my primary school. The reason was not me, the reason were my teachers who taught me the gestures, who taught me the words, who taught me the language. And I think if today I can make a speech before the class without any hesitation, it's because the training of those teachers. I 
always pray for them god bless them and lastly i had a severe competition in the class i was competed by the people who were junior to me or who were getting less marks and they would always try to defeat me by uh, trying to gain the first position and i had to maintain that position also so in that way the childhood was really very good so my mom used to cook good foods for me the foods which i liked so again it was very good so in that way childhood proved a very good experience but in case of my teaching experience job experience it's again i would say just one thing that my job i take like uh, a hobby i have never taken my job like a you know something troublesome something problematic so when you take your job like that you like it you love it and as a result it becomes far far easier for you so for me marking of papers assignments delivering lectures reading books and writing articles just nothing it's just easy just good one and i feel very good and very happy and so these are some of the experiences of my job well one of the biggest possible experience which makes me always happy that this is the job where i get introduced to always new people new beautiful people boys girls they come across me they come uh, you know around me some of them are very good in asking question in raising question in talking to me some of them become my friends as well and this is what is fascinating in this job really okay mario zubair says that he understands each and everything very good badi alama fazla hai mario zubair so she understands everything uh, still maria you can ask me a question it may not be about teaching it may not it may be something else so uh sir to become a, become a development strong nation need to copy development nations like european but on the other hand every nation have an own culture and norm so question is not there uh, but still description is there okay i'm mubashir uh, wa alaikum assalam first i'm going to talk about the uh, comment given by etsham etsham it is good to see the people who are progressing but it's not good to copy them one must see what the people are doing in education in in health in other civic amenities and then should check one's own culture and the things in which we are living i mean we have different realities as compared to the realities of the other nations we should learn from them but we should consider our own realities as well our sources as well and try to do the things in that which suit us and if we try to follow them exactly it will not be possible because they have a different setup of time and that of spaces so i think it's not harm it's not bad to learn from the other nations we should go there we should read them find out what the people are doing and how they have developed and try to incorporate these things in us by the way there are many social things which the developing countries have adopted and we have lost these social things and actually these belong to us so i think socially first of all we should become a good nation and then we can do anything great in this world all right and uh, mubashir uh, i have said already walikum salam walid askar is again and he says kindly explain the colonized theme in the zoo and how you see the kind of uh, societal discrimination of poor and lower class yes uh, as soon as uh, walid you say upper and lower class automatically the theme of colonization comes forward because uh, when we say somebody upper it means that that person has more power that person has more money that person has more you know control of the people that person has more sources on his uh, hand and therefore he can manipulate the people who are not equal to him he can use his money his power other things in order to use them as it happens in case of uh, in case of the farmer for example that farmer was expelled from the farm where he has been working all his life because the farm owner decided to cultivate something else and similarly the governor gets the things done of his own choice while the things are not done by the common people for their own choice they have to pay for that so there is a power sector on the one hand and there is the less powerful people on the other hand so that is why a colonial theme is all the time there and discrimination of course is there you know rich people you 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 know in how many big bungalows and big you know houses they live and for the poor people just a small thing just like the cages they live and uh, government is also not working on these sections that they should prepare big buildings where all amenities may be provided like in usa even a worker of the road can live in a good apartment if he earns money and that apartment has the same facilities i mean refrigerator would be there and, and uh, the hot iron of electric will be there and uh, good room air conditioning everything will be available 
so the standard of life can be raised if the government comes forward and uses things like that. But it doesn't happen in our society. And that is why the theme of discrimination is always available in almost every story. And the zoo also represents the same way. So this is what I can say about uh, Walid's question. Uh, Sidra, your question is here, you know, uh, sir, what is the image of our class in your mind? Is it bad or good? Well, that's a very difficult question. But I must say, none of my class is bad at all. All my classes are very good. But you know, as we have different human beings, we meet, different friends meet. Some friends are good, some friends are bad. Some friends are less good, some friends are less bad. In the same way, classes are there. No class can be equal to the other class. We have different individuals. We have uh, different mindsets. We have different intelligence levels as well. So in that way, I, if I rank your class, it's not a bad class. So it's a very good class. It contains very good number of people. But yes, one thing I would like to point out that you were never taught to use your mind. I have found out that you people never were taught to use your mind. And now when I say you people to use your mind, you, you, you people feel bad. And this is wrong because the student must use his or her mind. If you are copying somebody, it means that you are using the mind of some other person. And this will never pay you. This will never give you a type of uh, quality of life. You will all the time copy the other people. So develop this quality among you that you will read the things. You will find the things of your choice, but then you will use your own brain. Believe me, once you become creative like that, you become the great person in your life. Because creativity is the very thing which our mind is made for and we can use it. So your class, many people are there uh, who use the creativity, but most of the people try to copy the things because it's easier. You know, we are lazy people as well. But I think there are very little tasks given to you people and you people should not be that lazy at there. You people should use brain. So once you become creative, you are the best class. I am deeply impressed by number of people in your class, but still work is work. And I would ask you people to do the work all the time. So for me, only that person is good, only that class is good, which works. And if you don't work, I have nothing to do with that. Your work makes you beautiful in my way. So if you work hard, if you show your work, if you use your creative to your mind, you are a very good class. And I hope so, that you are going to become a very good class with me. Right? I hope that Sidra's question is answered. Sidra, if you feel satisfied, do write something in the comment section. Any more questions, bhai? Uh, any more questions if anybody has? I may be available for 5 to 10 minutes more if your questions come up. Otherwise, I will end the stream. And we shall plan for something new in the next coming week. First, you people need to furnish your assignment to me so that I can see what's going on. And this time, no assignment will be returned when everybody has given me the assignment. I think uh, we have fixed the 2nd of May for the assignment, if I remember rightly. Uh, till 2nd of May, everybody should send the assignment and I will start checking on 3rd. And after that, I shall return. And after the fixed date, I will not accept any assignment. So you people need to complete it without, uh, you know, doing these things. Uh, just ask some video, I don't know who this person is, so you should write your name also. And no sir is for what? Just ask some video, you should write the name in the comment. And why no sir has been written but sir is not. So somebody else should ask the question quickly. Yes, here is a question by Huma. Huma, you are asking a question, Baki sab ke dimaag और उनके हाथ काम नहीं कर रहे कोरोना और रोजों की वजह से डेड हो गए हैं थैंक्स लॉट योर लेक्चर्स आर वाज आसम आई लर्न मच मे अल्लाह ब्लेस यू चलें ठीक है जी थैंक यू वेरी मच आपने बड़ा कमेंट किया मुझे एनकरेज किया एंड सो दैट्स व्हाई आई फील वेरी गुड व्हेन सम टाइप ऑफ फीडबैक लाइक दैट इज देयर बिकॉज़ इट्स द फीडबैक व्हिच मेक्स अस यू नो जंप वंस अगेन टू डू द थिंग्स इवन बेटर वे एंड uh, well, uh, Uma Freed is saying, sir, when the corona isolation situation end, any prediction 
What I can predict is June is the very month in which this isolation will finish and the examinations will be started by the universities. A lot of activity will be there. Uh, many universities are planning to go online. Many universities are planning to give the task to the students to do so. And uh, Punjab University has already done this for colleges and for schools as well. So in this way, number of things are going to happen. So at least this type of isolation uh, in which you are bound to stay at one place will finish, I think, in June. Uh, let's expect by 15 of June. Uh, so till that time, uh, maybe doing good things, okay. So Abdul Wahid, Abdul Wahid is there. Just ask some video is actually, sir, I am Abdul Wahid. Welcome, Wahid. Question, any, if you have got. So, uh, Omar Fee said, really, sir, your online lectures are blessings for us. Thanks. Uh, well, students, if you are thinking in that way that my lectures uh, have proved something good and uh, my lectures have done good for you, though I'm not getting any money for that, it's, it's the, my students' smiles and my students' responses which are my reward. Why don't you tell this thing to your uh, superiors in, in, your, in the university? to your directors and to your head of department, why don't you tell these things so that they may acknowledge the services which I'm doing for you and uh, you people are studying and taking pains, all that. You you people should should inform the, the authorities there uh, via Facebook or via Twitter or, or even by sending email to your people or by even calling through messages you should send that a very good activity you have been doing with Professor Zia uh, and how much you are satisfied with that and how much you people are are uh, willing him to give more lectures. So this thing should be told. I mean, whatever you do, there's no harm in telling. Whatever assignments you do, whatever lectures you attend, whatever you learn. And today's session, totally unconventional and untraditional session, that a question answer session has been held. Why don't you propagate these things? Why don't you tell to the other people that you are doing this, right? Uh, this is the word of, uh, you know, media. This is the word of telling the people what you are doing. So instead of using your arm or your muscle to let the people know how you are powerful, you should use the media to let you know, let the other people know how much you are powerful and how much you are doing. So in that way, your image will also be highlighted. Hmm? Uh, well, again, uh, I take your lectures during my office timing. Very good. If I am not able to comment due to heavy office workload. No, no, uh, it's not the matter of forgiveness. You can later on comment. All these videos are recorded on YouTube and the link is also given on Facebook. You can later on give your comment on Facebook. You can give your comment on YouTube also. Mubashir Bashir says, Honorable Sir, let us know that in Pakistani literature why we compose and portray the tradition, right? Incident of other countries, for instance, the reluctant fundamentalist. Well, well, well. This question is having number of things in it, not just one. So let me answer it one by one. First of all, we live in a country which is a post-colonial country. So our history is not the history of just our nation. Our history is the history of subcontinent. Our history is the history of the British people who ruled on us. Our history, maybe the history of, you know, uh, our uh, forefathers, maybe Mughals, maybe Pathans, etc. So when we write, we need to talk about all these things. Second thing. Second thing is that the post-colonial literature of any country or especially the literature from any country which was formerly ruled by some uh, colonial power, that country has to tell about its culture. That country has to tell about its resistance. That country has to show that it did not like the foreign rule. It, it wanted to be independent and that's why resistance is to be shown. As we got uh, you know, freedom from uh, British people, we raised the slogan that we need Pakistan in the name of Laila and that we, we, we want to be a separate people as Muslim nation. So in order to prove that, we need to show what we are, what our culture is. That is why we discuss the things which belong to our culture. And the last thing, why the other people's countries? No, the world has changed. I think if we go back to Dipti Nazir Ahmed's novels, these novels were written in uh, 19th century, in the end of 19th century, the start of 20th century. These novels represented 100% local areas because we were not interacting with the world at that time. Now, we are the part of this world. This world is globalized world. In one way or the other, we become important 
if the wars are there for example if the terrorism is there or if migrations are there we become important and no once again we are important because of cpac so in this way we are the part of the world and as a result our literature has to reflect how we are the part of the world that is why the foreign elements are there so if you get the a little bit of satisfaction about your question do write in the comment okay obashir hassan is uh, saying let us uh, let us know that in pakistani literature why we compose yes i have answered this question okay i have answered this question of mubashir so mubashir if you are satisfied if you get anything if you understand anything uh, write in the comment section about your point of view about the answer which i have given to you no question is coming from rabia now at this moment only nine people are watching uh, this session others have left people are very clever you know just putting yes sir i am present after that thing okay uh, sir if it's a post colonial country then i think we should state it uh, something else instead of the no uh, in fact in post coloniality both things come so we should listen carefully in post coloniality not only the colonizer comes but also the colonized so the literature has to represent the colonizer also and the colonized as well and in post colonial literature colonized is to be represented more as compared to the colonized so both are to stay it cannot be like that and uh, just awesome video says so i work as a reader in uh, family court sometimes i am uh, sitting near to my honorable judge and he listens to your lecture too sir he was uh, appreciating your efforts of delivering that's very great sir that if the judiciary and any component honorable component of judiciary appreciates our activity it's really really very good a uh, request in sometime if he feels like commenting giving his comment he can on youtube or on uh, facebook link uh, or anywhere he can if something is good if something feels good then uh, surely it should be talked about mm hmm uh, okay more question i'll wait for only 1 2 minutes if you put the question i can answer it only nine people are watching right now because it means that other people have disappeared after marking their presence very clever all right so anyways the session has gone very good some of the people have asked very good questions and i have also tried to answer these questions hopefully next time we shall have even better uh when you watch my videos on uh, youtube live as well at that time also in the end of the session you can put some questions and uh, i shall be trying to answer all that okay people see you next time so this stream closes in a few seconds let's hope we have done something good bye bye and see you